Hello everybody, Argofump here with Midnight Mysteries Ghost Riding. Yeah, that's where I am. Okay, so I'm playing this game and I have now entered the Metaphysical Society. Which apparently is a group of weird people. What are they doing? They've got like green slime dropping onto their hands? Or is it coming out? You're not one of us! Get out! Yeah, I know I'm not part of your group. I'm just trying to figure out what's happening. So is it coming out? Members only. Fine, I'll leave. Jeez. So is it coming out of their hands or what? What is that green stuff? I don't know. Like, I know what metaphysics is, but I only know, uh, you know, philosophy. Metaphysics is the study of being. What does it mean to exist? What does it mean to be? What does it mean to not exist? You know, questions like this. Why why do we exist instead of not existing? Why is there something instead of nothing? It's answering questions like that. That's basically what metaphysics is. But this is clearly spiritual metaphysics, where things are weird and strange. And I, I, don't, I don't understand spiritual metaphysics. Now, maybe it's possible that, that the meaning of life is weird, and that's how spiritual metaphysics and philosophical metaphysics are the same? But I don't know. I don't understand. I'm confused. So let's, let's, just, um, let's just say for now that uh, the metaphysical society is filled with a bunch of crazy weird people that are doing things. Like, they're, they're sucking life force out of people, and destroying doors with termites. Yeah. I should note- Mr. Chairman, I believe one of our brothers is a traitor. I built a magical camera to figure out who it is. I should note that I haven't actually read this book. This book is called Our Mutual Friend. It was the final book written by Charles Dickens before he died. I have no idea what it's about. The book has like a hundred different characters. Money and knowledge are the powers that change the world. Here, in this mansion, I've spent my time studying the works of my metaphysical mentors until I found the answer. So this is cool. I like the shadow graph again, and this is actually going to explain what the villain of the game has been doing. So he stole a bunch of money in the previous chapter, and he's giving it to these crazy metaphysical people. Dearest Charles, I've learned how to change your words. Easy as pie. Remember your novel, Our Mutual Friend. Well, it's become mine in a heartbeat. My lips quiver to see your reaction when you read through all my changes. I've got so many typos in there, you won't believe it. <laughs> I misspell everybody's names. <laughs> and see it you shall. Just give me more time. I'll catch you like a rabbit and drag you into this world that you merely created, but that I now reign. I've found the way to cross the border between our worlds. I only need to find a place where... Uh, hey, he didn't finish talking. There are spots where you ghostwriters thrive. Sleepy Hollow is one of those places. My new friend, the Headless Horseman, agreed to help me, setting a trap with your precious friend as bait. Yes, yeah, so all the stuff with Washington Irving was a trap by the villain to lure in Charles Dickens. It was much harder to contrive how to steal your soul, but I did it. I built this device, testing it first with a mummified cat. I've concluded that dead matter can drain life from living creatures. The dead return to life, and the living perish. You've generously donated parts of your personality to your characters. I'll remove those parts and place them in my device. The rest of your personality will be drawn to those parts, like a magnet to iron. Why do I need your soul? Ha ha ha, you'll see. So, the villain has been working with the Metaphysical Society because the Metaphysical Society has been able to bring a cat back from the dead. 
So he is basically going to use that to take over Charles Dickens? I don't know. Apparently, it, it, it's a very complicated evil plan, but it, it makes sense, right? Using the research of the crazy people, he has managed to do to, to even crazier things. what metaphysics is. Metaphysics is now bringing dead people back to life. Huh. You know what the original meaning of metaphysics is? It's by Aristotle. He wrote the book Physics, and then he wrote the book Metaphysics. Metaphysics means the book I wrote after the physics book. Yeah, meta just means after. So... Literally, literally, you know, it, it's just, it, it's what he wrote after writing about physics. He wrote about the nature of being. I don't think he wrote about bringing cats back, from, back to life. Though we're not 100% sure because we don't have Aristotle's actual uh, lectures. or n We just have a bunch of notes that his students took during his lectures. We don't have the actual lectures themselves. So it's a little confusing trying to figure out what Aristotle is trying to do. Speaking of confusion... I'm the automatic tailor. Would you like me to teach you? First, place your cloth on the table, then place your pattern on top, and trace the pattern with chalk. Thank you, automated tailor. Next, you'll need to use an item that works only when the two halves separate before coming together again. Use it on the cloth. Please talking about scissors. These are puzzles. Great! Let's make it a challenge. Your next step is to feed the iron spider so it can weave your creation together. The first brother approves. The second brother accuses. The third brother is the tallest. And the fourth brother is romantic. Their little brother has what you need. So he's talking about fingers. The fingers are all brothers. Like, the first brother approves by giving you a thumbs up. That's the thumb. And, um, the second brother is a pointer finger accusing you. The third brother's tallest fourth is romantic because it has a wedding ring on it. When this beast gets angry, it spouts steam and flattens everything in its path. Anger it and use it on your creation. Even if the two people wear the same outfit, they'll still look unique. Wear your design with pride, my friend. Thank you, my friend. The most relatable character of the entire chapter. So, I, I have to wonder, this would be a fun challenge, if somebody tried writing, writing out, like, the story of our mutual friend based on this video. You know, based on this game, that that would probably be a hilarious, hilarious, uh, you know, uh, attempt. So here you want to make things match. So, for example, those two symbols match that, and these two symbols put together match that. You, you really can see the other, but um, the, with the symbols, the symbols in a uh, horizontal row and a vertical column, they both, when you put together, match the symbol in the bottom, bottom right. Anyway, as, uh, oh, okay, so we're making lots of things for cats here. Anyway, as I was saying, it, it would just be funny to try to recreate the books based on, based on what this game does with them. Like, if you tried to recreate the Sleepy Hollow story based on that chapter, you'd have a pirate book. Oh, and here are the members of the Metaphysical Society. Oh, they look adorable. Oh, they look so cute. Okay, so... Sort of like trying to recreate Hamlet based on, you know, Wishbone's version of Hamlet. So now we have the green life energy, which brings dead things back to life, and apparently it works with with this device to make the magical camera. 
Perfect. So now we have the camera autica, which is Latin for the strange lamp. Okay, so Bella, she is the female member. And Edgar Allan Poe is this guy here with the mustache, I think. Okay, that is him. And the other ah, guy... Ah, brother! Just in time! Go get the ones who went to the river. We need them. Oh, we're almost at the end of this video already. Oh, oh my goodness. I've been babbling on about metaphysics and, and literature and, and things I don't understand. So this villain is the final member, Bradley. Brad, I know it's you. Ha, ah, so that means I'm going to die. Okay, click on everything that will hurt you. Like, 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 like the ax and the pointy things and the glass and the nails and the, the ax and the, the crowbar. Come on, click on the crowbar. And everything looks fine. The bread, click on the bread. Okay, well, we defeated the evil villain, and... Please, stop him. Okay, guy, I don't know who you are. I'll, I'll, I'll try to stop him. Sorry he stole your soul. If my world could not be yours, I would make yours mine. And now, for the final book of the game... A book I've never heard of before, The Mystery of Edwin Drood.